Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler, and today we're playing Space Engineers. So today we are finally uh, doing the uh, refinery module deployment uh, use case scenario for the Eagle Transporter. And this use case is about um, uh, refining uh, ore in situ. That means that uh, what we want to do is that we want to uh, process the ore uh, in the places uh, where we have a, a mine. We have a mine, we are extracting ore, but we don't want to take that ore to our base that could be far away. What we want to do is uh, to process the ore at the site. And in that way, we um, what we do is just um, refine it like de we, we deploy a, a, a refinery module in the in, at the mine and there we refine the ore we extract and we just fetch the ingots already refined so that will um, free us from uh, transporting a lot of uh, cargo a lot of mass that w then we 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 won't use so it's um, um, we will be using the or cargo hold more effectively, and uh, basically we will be uh, deploying uh, the the module with or the modules I should say because there are several with um, <coughs> with the Eagle transporter, and then we will uh, be. Um, fetching the material we uh, mine with uh, with these small smaller ships so that's the idea so for that we have prepared uh, the refinery module right here and we have prepared uh, an energy module so the thing is that that module once uh, deployed would need uh, some sort of um, energy um, or power um, input and that would be uh, this module right here so this module has um, solar panels I use the NASA mod to uh, make it like this so it has some hinges here as you can see and rotors so uh, to, to deploy the solar panels once it's uh, deployed once it's uh, in in the in the place where it should um, um, collect the energy, then we just uh, uh, extend the solar panels. And this configuration that you see right here is for transportation only. And that is um, and it's a very simple module. It's uh, just. Um, a battery with some um, timer blocks. These timer blocks uh, are used to program the, the 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 solar panels here. And what we will do is to, um, but but currently I, I have not programmed anything here. Um, I will just extend the the hinges and that's it and otherwise we have like this um, um, conveyor tubes at the bottom by the way I'm missing something here because I think ah uh, yes I was um, I needed some some tubes so as you can see down here it has like this conveyor uh, tube system right and that is um, is meant for um, uh, to to convey cargo if it's needed if it's um, uh, attached to uh, any other module so uh, the pattern is this like you have the, the merge block and um, this is an unmergeable conveyor tube so this pattern we have in other modules like for example the the refinery module right here 
you see this pattern well here I couldn't do it because we have the refinery right there but at this side you can see it so we could attach the the energy module uh, there we could attach it here but um, in fact I, I prepare it to to be stacked I will stack one on top of the other so that's what we will do and what else yes this this uh, module is prepared for stacking that's why it has these merge blocks um, down here it doesn't have like these um, landing gears that you see in the other in the other module so yes one thing that i'm missing that i see that i'm missing here is the we will need also um, a connector we will need a connector to to connect to be able to load um, ore in the module and to um, how it's called yes and to retrieve the, the ingots so that yes we will need one of those so we will need some steel plates uh, yes some components and some other things we we will do that um, in on site we will just build um, a connector um, to this um, to this refinery so the ships can can do that but otherwise we would uh, build a another module the, in fact there's another module that I created let's see that has the it's a conveyor module if I turn it on um, yes one of these this is one of them What's the difference? Uh, one is longer than the other. It, they have different um, lengths. So let's see if we can just filter them out. Yes. So this is one of them. Yes, but they are meant like to be transported with with other. Um, like with a crane or something yes and they have different length this is a junction right here if I copy it to the clipboard we can we could see it yeah that that's that's the the conveyor but I think we we cannot use this one right now so we we will just improvise there and um, just build one um, ourselves a connector but the 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 a better solution would be to have um, another module that could be a conveyor module it's just that for this case is 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 um, it's not possible because as you can see here I cannot attach a, a connector um, on top of this um, module here of the refinery okay but then let's um, let's move the um, let's transport the, 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 the refinery module to its place Let's see if everything is fine here. Okay, we are a little bit low on batteries, but otherwise we're fine. So the first thing is to um, detach. We need to detach the yeah the the load. Let's detach them. And also we need to yeah here is detach and also we need to detach the oh 
or let's let's keep them attached because probably when I hit the uh, the like if I if I hit the P uh, key like this um, parking key then everything will be uh, detach all these connectors and stuff let's turn on everything what else the, these are on okay so I think that's it let's look there we go we are leaving the prospector module behind and let's aim for the for the refinery module so at this point what I do is that I deactivate let me show you here I deactivate the RCS I continue with um, with the flight assist on and just hit the the forward right the forward um, uh, thrusters so here we are flying with flight assist that means that the altitude is being kept by the lift thrusters and it's moving like it's, it's sliding over ice or water you can imagine there and then now I uh, remove the flight assist to descend so the, the thrusters are not um, counteracting the, the, the gravity and for this maneuver then we will need the we will need the other um, camera this is the like the cargo camera let's align with the module so here I just deactivate the, the flight assist sometimes it's, it's uh, convenient to deactivate the flight assist to, to move in another way other than um, vertically but you you have to be careful not to to let it um, fall to a to a very low there okay all right we we have the 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 um, merge blocks off now we turn them on and this should help us there so it's connected now and now we should be able to yeah there we have the module with us now okay let's see and now we have to aim for the gold um, I think it's in that same direction I know there are several here okay uh, there's one at, at almost three kilometers let's go higher yes I think it's this one as you can see there's a um, a GPS um, coordinate uh, marker there and we're, we're going there there's some gold there because what I want to do is that I want to um, I want to place the the I 
I want to place the refinery in a gold mine because this, this is a use case, right? Um, we have a gold mine and the gold mine, uh, gold is uh, 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 an ore that takes uh, time to refine. That's one thing. The other thing is that the ratio is not very high. Like I, right now, I don't remember exactly how much gold you you obtain per um, per ore unit, but I I know that it's lower than, for example, um, what you get uh, of iron. If you if you compare like what you get um, out of uh, stones, it's higher uh, in the case of uh, of iron, uh, and I don't remember how much I I think it's close to I don't know one to one. It's probably it's less than that, but for gold is uh, yeah considerably uh, lower so it takes time it takes time to like get some gold out of uh, a lot of rocks so we are getting close i think that's the yeah that's the the mine right there We are now at 400 meters from the mine, you can see. So this ship is really big, uh, the Eagle Transporter. So it's I, I handle this like a big truck. Like I don't want to... Um, I think we're uh, we're close right now. Like I don't want to. To go very fast. So I would. I won't make like this um, um, close maneuvers. Okay, so I think. Where is the gold now? Ah yes, it's, it's a little bit behind us. There's another gold at I think 7 kilometers. Okay, but let's... Let's head here to or previous I think this is a, a previous mine I had yeah there it is so now we have to choose where do we want the, the where do we want the refinery set okay so let's probably it will be good to to have it here at the top of this hill we just have to check out let's let's park the or eagle transporter here because i think it's this one yeah i think we can park it here and probably this is the place where we want the the refinery let's see there we go let's turn off everything and let's see where is our um, gold yes here this is our gold okay ah but probably is this a new gold and silver ah it's 48 meters i think this is a new a new um, site. I, I thought I had a, 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 um, a mine here, but not this is a new one. But it doesn't matter. I like 
I like this place here. So the gold is approximately 43 meters. So that would mean that the 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 mine will be uh, here probably we could also try to make a hole oh, i don't see it now in the in the side of the hill well let's see but in any case um where the eagle transporter is sitting right now this is a good place for the for the refinery uh, we want it high because the refinery will will work with solar power and and then we we want all the power we can get so this is a good place for that and here um we can just dig for the for the for the gold Or ship would have to um, to come here, right? So we are about uh, two kilometers from the base. And I thought this was the one that I had before because it's, I think it's closer to the base. Okay, so here's the gold. There we are and we will need um, we will need a vehicle here to to come and finish opening this uh, mine shaft Okay, so let's let's do that. I, I want to set a marker here so we don't get lost and maybe um, even uh, put a special color to it. So let's um, have a, a meaningful name. So new from current position and this will be... Um, refining station and let's uh, have a red color to it yes refining station this is where we want to place that okay so uh, before deploying this i would like to build a little um, like a little platform let me see uh, where uh, can I do that we need like a little platform here And let's take some yeah, some of this and we will need uh, later on we will need more um, stuff so let's see yeah I think You see here here it's already it is already um, uh, taking this it's already locking to this to this structure
So we don't need much. We only need the necessary to so that it can lock here to this. Okay, I think that's that's it. We don't need more. Oops. Okay, so that's it. Let's um. Let's make like the the the, the eagle transporter le level off. Yes, it's leveling off. And probably I will... I would like to move it a bit, right? Let's move it a bit. Let's um, turn on these things. I think that's that's where it should be, right? Yeah. And I would like to move it a bit to the right. It makes me a bit uncomfortable that it's not. Okay, I think that's and the sun is there okay the sun hmm. probably it's a better idea to to have it the other way because of the solar panels so ooh, that would mean like a turn of 90 degrees let's try to turn it 90 degrees Ninety degrees. Oops. Oh, okay, it's because it's it should have done that. Maybe I destroyed something. I don't know. Okay. So that's the sun right there. Yes, a little bit more, and then we can we can again just something like that yeah i think this is better because then we we will get to to get more of the sun because the the the, the panels will be facing the sun Okay, so let's now, I should probably be looking at the other camera, where is this one? Yes. Now ah, this camera is perfect. This is one of the most useful cameras in, the, in this ve vehicle. Yeah, that's it. Let it fall completely unlock well i think that's it and now we disconnect and there we go we left the we left the refinery there and i think it's in the in a perfect position so once we we go to the um, and fetch the the panels, the solar, the solar power plant. You will see. Um, you will see that we we made like the right, the right uh, decision for the placement of the refinery. Okay, so we are done. Let's fetch the other module now. Let's turn, let's go a little bit higher, I don't, 100 meters will do. And let's go forward.
Okay, there's the ba the alpha base. So now these modules will be in the um, workshop. I will I will upload them. I think uh, those of you guys that have been following maybe uh, you want the, the modules to test them sorry for the um, all the time it took i want i wanted like to to test them and to have everything prepared okay maybe i So now we are going to fetch the power. Let's go down a bit. So the power is uh, this. This one module was um, tricky because I wanted it to like to be able to transport it. and for that we we had to like the panels always take a lot of space right i should use the other camera so one of the problems was was the, the folding right the folding of the of the panels uh, to to get a way to figure out a way to fold the panels in such a way that it would be um, easy to to transport and this is what I came up with and really for this um, module the um, the NASA mod was really um, critical. I think without the NASA mod, maybe I wouldn't have um, such a good result. Okay, hopefully I can just pick up this this module without any issues. Let me see because uh, yes, I think I have enough space. So, you remember that I'm working with uh, uh, without this third person view, everything is um, like a simulation. Hopefully I won't crash the... One, one difficulty is to... you always run the risk to crash the superstructure with um, with the panels. This is always a risk. This is the tricky part of this module, right? Uh, let me turn them on. The the the. Ah, wait a second. There's there's something that is preventing me from from merging. What is it? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think it's this. Ah, this is what I feared. Okay, but let's fix that. Oh, probably I will need more blocks this is one thing i feared like the that i will wouldn't be able to yes there are several things going on here mm, so let's the first thing is like to to create a connection low enough that i will be able to just 
remove all other blocks. So that's, I think that will do. And then, um, well, one thing is this block, of course. And the other one is these ones right here. I think I can just... Ah, I think that was it. That was it. Yes. Ooh, that was a close call right there. Okay. So now we are connected to the power and then uh, I think we can uh, proceed to... Um, power the the refinery so let's do it okay one thing is oh i think i don't i'm not sure which uh ah well i could just power up these ones well let's see because i don't remember which ones are Probably these are these ones, right? The 14, the 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. I think these are these ones. Let's see. Yep. This is the 11, the 12, the 13. Okay, so let's turn them off. Uh, and this one, which one is it? Oh, this one is none of those. So, what do we have? 11, 12, 11, 12, 13, and the 14 is someone else. Okay. So, it should be. The 10, then probably is the 9th. This one. Ah, this is the ninth. Okay. Okay, so let's let's turn them off. It's all of them except of the 14, right? Yes, 11, 12, 13. Yes. And the 9. Let's turn them off. Okay, I think we got with we've got it. Yes. Okay, so we have to be careful. Um, probably, let's see, merge, no, hinge, we will have to, no, handbrake, to share the tensor so it doesn't shake so much, this and the, and the rotors. Let's. Yes, so it doesn't. There. It's not so shaky, you saw that, right? It's not that shaky. Okay, now we have to go to our. Um, yes, there it is, the refinery um, plant. Okay, so let's go.
let's go a little bit up. So now you will see um, how these uh, stack modules work. You can either stack a module on top of the other or you could connect it sideways. Um, so in that case, um, yeah, in, in the case you stack them, what you what we are doing, we're saving like horizontal space. And also we are um, placing the, the, the panels higher. So it's good when the when the panels are are high, uh, higher than the rest of the structure, of course. So I think we we have um, a visual contact of the of the refinery. It's not that far away, but I will turn off the the flight assist so we can descend a bit. We're too high. And also, we will try to... Okay, so we should start aligning ourselves with a... with, with a refinery. Okay, so now mm, I think the the cameras, the superstructure cameras, perhaps they won't be so useful now, because you will see they they are now um, obstructed. Let's see if if at least we can get a hint. And yeah, I think yes, yes, even with this. Even with this um, view, this limited view, we, we get a better hint at what we're doing. So you see how it and we will have to turn on all the let's turn them on ten fourteen the nine which one else Okay, so that's all. Let's see. So yes, they're they're on. In this side, let's look at the other. And yeah, they're also on. So no problem here. Okay, I think we can go farther. Okay, we're close. We are close. We seem to be a bit... We 
We're really close. Yes, there we go. Everything is on now. There we go. Oh, something happened with this. It it took some beating there, or I don't know. Ah, uh, probably it's because yeah the. It could be the 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 rotors. Let me see. There's some issue with the rotors. Solar plant rotors. Are they? I should lock them. Yeah. Well, I won't lock them right now because I we need to deploy them anyways. Okay, so there we are. We have everything um, connected, but I think now is the time to disconnect from the... Now is the time to disconnect the Eagle Transporter. There we go. And we have deployed the energy uh, plant, the, the solar plant. And we should look for a place to park. I think I will park it just um, somewhere. Let's see if we can... Yes, we could... Maybe we could park it here in this plane at least just for let's see how is it oops So where are we? I think we'll be fine, right? I think this is a large enough area. This thing is big, so... It takes... It takes a little bit to park it safely. So we are 39, 38... 34... Twenty. We're almost there. We have touched them. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that was not so bad. Okay, we can turn off everything. Uh, by the way, I haven't checked. What is with the the batteries? Ooh, we are low on batteries. Probably we will have to to activate the second battery. This one is pretty much empty. Hydrogen, I think we have enough. Um, is anything damaged though? No damage. Okay, so 
Now, where are the things here? Ah, there it is. So there's the Eagle Transporter and there's the... Here's our solar energy plant. Okay, so let's deploy the, um, the panels. The first thing, so this is with the hinge. So both hinges, we are going to reverse them. And now you can see that they are deploying. So they are deployed now and the next thing is that we want to to reverse the rotors as well. So they they um they will be like in this tilted position. So they can also get some energy when the sun is um, the sun is overhead. Okay, so the sun should should make like this arc on top. So uh, I think this is a, a good position. Maybe uh, this this um, panel we could rotate it in the in the. Um, in the other direction but for now we have our setup so you see here right we have two modules uh, at the bottom we have the refinery yes with uh, it it's just a, a big refinery a large refinery right with um, a cargo container yeah and I this this refinery has this small battery here. It's a, a, a big rotor with a small head and a small battery on it um, to power it while it's not connected to any any energy source. But it's to give like some minimal uh, power to like I don't know to 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 be able to do anything with energy and yeah and then we have the, the the panel on top and or mine is down here right so we have like an in situ refinery what is missing now would be um a place to to a connector right to to be able to connect our ships to this uh, to this structure to be able to um, w extract the ore when when we extract the ore to put the ore in the refinery and also to it's a little bit tilted I don't know why and also to yeah then to to take the ore from the refinery and bring it to, back to the base okay but i think i will leave this video here i hope you enjoy it so this is uh, practically one well it's not our first use case the first use case was the prospection and this is the second use case so we um we want to um process or in situ so we deploy a refinery and this is a large refinery, by the way, um, remember that only with a large refinery you can process gold, for example. So if you, are, if you want to, to, to process iron, you can use a, the, 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 the regular refinery and not the large one. So um, maybe um, I have a module with a, with a small refinery. Uh, maybe we we make a video of that one <coughs> in the future but this one is especially uh, to mine these uh, precious uh, metals that are not you cannot um, 
refine them with uh, with a regular refinery and yeah and and it needs um, a power source so we we have installed this um, solar plant on top of it so i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, um, stay tuned because we will be making more videos about um, the the other use cases also um, if you want to follow me on twitter um, uh, you can follow me at cyber settler so there uh, i make um, updates i will keep you informed of uh, uh, upcoming videos and what i'm doing at the moment so this is Cyber Settler signing off.